It's Wednesday, the 5th of May. Welcome to The Breakfast Show and happy Cinco de Mayo to all our Mexican viewers. I'm your host, Mark Anthony, and believe it or not, this is our 50th show. Some said there wasn't enough industry news to justify a daily news show. Some said there was no appetite for this kind of content and there'd be no audience. And some said it would never last. Yeah, here we are, 50 shows in. Uh, Each show gets more viewers than the one before, and I'd like to think each show is slightly better than the last as well. Uh, So to all of those that said it couldn't be done, my friend Ric Flair has something to say. Uh, We have a very equipment-heavy show for you today. Uh, That wasn't the plan, but we sometimes just have to play with the cards that the new stream deals us. And we will get to all of that in just a second. But first, let's take a a very quick spin through those all-important celebrity birthdays. Uh, It's happy birthday to former Python and global traveler Michael Palin, to singer Adele, and most importantly, to former West Ham wizard Yossi Benayoun. Many happy returns to each and every one of them. And we'll be right back after this. If you enjoyed this show, please consider supporting us. Go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash demolition news. Now, the new diggers will be along in just a second, but first, we've got this. Uh, Walton on Thames, just up the road from Demolition News Towers and one of my favourite fishing hangouts, is about to get a new £20 million housing block that will be part six and part nine storeys in height. The developer in this instance is PA Housing, but before they can bring some additional housing to the site at Thamesview House, a demolition contractor is required to clear the path. Uh, we understand that the uh, that ARJ Construction is in contention for the new build portion of the works, but the door is still open for a competent, qualified and ideally local demolition contractor. You can find out more about this project lead and many more just like it over at buildersconference.co.uk. Now, you might recall that back in October last year, uh, we brought you all the key facts and figures from the very impressive virtual machine launch hosted by the skid steer giant Bobcat. Well, that event was so packed with new technology, it was easy to overlook the fact that the company had just po- that the, the, the basically the company had slipped seamlessly into the uh, compact wheel loader market. Stumbling over my words, out of excitement here. Um, as a result of that move, the company now claims to offer the world's biggest loader portfolio, and Bobcat has underlined that fact by announcing details of its small articulated loader range. Let's take a look. Uh, Bobcat's small articulated wheel loaders, or SALs as they're known, are available with canopy and cab versions, uh, both specially designed to provide extra space where needed for easy entry, exit, and operator comfort. A simple, intuitive twin pedal design on the SALs enables quick and easy direction changes. One pedal moves the machine forward, the other puts it in reverse. The Bobcat L23 weighs in at 1.7 tons, while the larger L28 has an operating weight of 1.9 tons. Uh, If you'd like to know more about these machines, Uh, You can find out a whole lot more over at diggersanddozers.com. Now, no self-respecting equipment manufacturer worth its salt is without a quick coupler of some sort to its name these days, Uh, and Liebherr is no exception. The company has been offering its... Now, I'm never sure if this is lick your fix or like your fix, uh, but it's quick change system on its wheel loader range for a number of years. But the company is extending the coverage of that system. It's now available for the L506 and L508 compact wheel loaders, for the L507 and 509 stereo loaders, as well as for the larger X-Power wheel loaders right up to the L580. Now, you don't need me to tell you about the quality that Liebherr builds into its equipment. So instead of that, let's take a look at that system in operation.
The social media feed of attachments company MB Crochet is still offline. Uh, I have no intention of inflicting my terrible acting on you yet again. You've suffered that quite enough. But the company has released another cryptic new image. If you have any notion about why MB Crusher is currently away from all social media channels, please let us know what you know. Uh, hit us up here or comment on social media using the hashtag MB Crusher Dark. We still got a pair of MB Crusher goodie bags up for grabs uh, for the most accurate or the most creative suggestions on why the company is currently offline. Um, we expect to know more on the afternoon of the 10th of May and we will close our competition accordingly. Now, it's tempting to greet the news that Caterpillar has unveiled the latest iteration of its 953 track loader with a cry of, are they still making those? The track loader is a machine that has seemingly fallen out of favor and out of fashion. And yet, in the right application or with the right operator, it remains an unbeatable machine. Caterpillar clearly recognizes that fact and has just drawn back the curtain on the replacement for the 953K. Uh, powered by a 119 kilowatt diesel engine and with an operating weight of 15.9 tons, the new 953 crawler loader replaces the 953K. As a nod to modernity, uh, the 953 features an updated cab with a suspension seat and adjustable armrests and controls. An intuitive 10-inch touchscreen dis uh, dash display is easy to use and features a standard high-definition rear-view camera. The new unit is available with joystick or V-lever and pedal steering for transmission controls and either joystick or two-lever implement controls. You can find out more about that one as well over at diggersanddozers.com. That just about wraps up today's show. Um, Fear not, there is plenty more uh, news and equipment to come. Uh, I'm leaving here to head on up to uh, uh, Mechalac up the M40 and see what those fine folks are up to and what they've been getting up to uh, while the pandemic has raged all around us. Uh, I'll be back here on the morrow, same time, same place, to tell you all about it. And if Mechalac are watching and if I'm running late, it's because I decided to do this show live rather than pre-record it because, because it's better, basically. Uh, so. Mechalak, if I'm late, I'm sorry. Uh, everyone, thanks for joining us today. Um, have a safe day. Uh, have a great day. Uh, stay safe. Look after yourselves, your family, your friends, and your colleagues. And I'll be back here again tomorrow, assuming I make it up the M40 and back safely. Have a good one, everyone.